Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centre and this is my buyer's guide to the brand new Kawai DG30 Digital Mini Grand Piano. Now the DG30 looks absolutely beautiful, but it only measures 87 centimetres from the very front here to the back is less than three feet. So that means that you can get the elegance and the beauty of a grand piano, but in somewhere where space is at a premium and perhaps you haven't got enough room for a full size grand piano. So the DG30 doesn't just look fantastic, it also plays really nicely as well. You've already heard one of the piano sounds in the intro to this video, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about the actual keyboard itself, because when you're choosing a digital piano, it's not just about the sound that's important, it's how it feels to play. So the DG30 has 88 keys, exactly the same as a grand piano, um, and they're weighted as well, so they feel like a, a grand piano key. So there's a bit of resistance there so that you can get some expression into your playing. Now just here I've actually got a model of the actual keyboard that is inside the DG30. So it's called the RH3 or Responsive Hammer 3 keyboard action and it features um, sort of a synthetic ivory white key tops so there's a slight texture to the keys so it stops your fingers from slipping when they're playing. Um, and if you can see here there's a little weight that comes up underneath which is to simulate the the feel of the hammers that are inside a grand piano as well. So all in all I must say it does feel very very nice to play and along with the sound of the Shigeru Kawai EX Concert Grand Piano sound it really does sound fantastic. So I'm just going to play you another piece of music now using the SK Concert Grand and just have a listen to how this this sound is, it can be very delicate and also very dramatic all at the same time. So as well as traditional classical playing, the DG30 is ideally suited to modern popular tunes too. Uh, just take a listen to the intro to Elton John's Your Song. So I'm going to show you a few more of the sounds and features in the piano, but I just wanted to say that if you actually want to come and try one of these pianos for yourself, then come to one of Bonner's piano showrooms. We have three. One is located on the south coast in Eastbourne. We have another one in Surrey in Rygate, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway. And we have another store in Milton Keynes, which is in a little bit more of a central location, just off the M1 motorway. And in all three of those, you can see the DG30 on display. And we offer part exchange and finance offers as well. And if you check our website, you'll also see we offer various packages, including different choices of piano stalls and headphones to go with your DG30. So the DG30 offers a choice of different acoustic piano sounds. You've got grand pianos, upright pianos, bright piano, pop piano, and various different 
types of tones for different styles of music. But if you want to tailor the piano to your own taste, then you can actually do that using Kawai's virtual technician technology. Now you can either edit the sound uh, through the control panel that you have on the far left here, or you can download the free Kawai app, it's called the Virtual Technician, and that allows you to get access to all the different parameters to sort of shape the sound and make the sound how you like it. So you can change things such as the, the voicing, so that's how bright or mellow the sound is, um, the keyboard touch, uh, the string resonance, the damper resonance, uh, hammer noise, key noise, there are all sorts of parameters that you can adjust yourself, and then you can store those settings to create your own piano sounds that you can record call instantly. So in addition to piano sounds, the DG30 offers a huge choice of different instrument voices. In fact, there are over 355 different sounds inside the DG30, including nine drum kits as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select a different sound, and this is the sound of the string orchestra. just the sound of the strings on their own but what you can do is you can layer any two voices you want together so on every single note it's actually playing the sound of two voices so what I'm going to do in this next example I'm going to hold down the piano sound and press strings at the same time and it layers the two sounds together and you just hear the strings coming in behind the piano and this is one of my favorite sort of combinations of sounds if you like and it really does uh, make playing very enjoyable so just have a listen to this example of uh, the uh, SK Concert Grand layered with the string voice. So the DG30 has a total of 40 watts output power through its own amplification and speaker system. And I must say, it does actually fill a fairly large room with a full bodied sound. But of course, many people buy a digital piano because it's convenient because you can plug headphones in, which you can do on the DG30. I have some headphones here. You just plug them in on underneath there on the left hand side. And it features Kawhi's spatial headphone technology. And what that means is that when you listen to it through headphones, it kind of gives a, a more sort of surround or sort of spatial effect to the headphones so that it sounds just as nice playing through a good quality pair of headphones as it does through the instrument's own speaker system. Um, there are many different pairs of headphones. We offer a choice of headphones when you buy a package from Bonner's Piano Center. So like I've said earlier, just check out our website for the various package options. Um, or if you want us to create a bespoke package for you, then please do get in touch and we will uh, put something together that suits exactly what you're looking for. So as well as being able to layer two voices together, the DG30 allows you to split the keyboard so you can have one sound on your left and one sound on your right. So in this next example, I'm gonna take uh, the sound of an electric bass and I'm just gonna put that on the left-hand side of the keyboard. And on the right hand side of the keyboard I've got the sound of the classic electric piano. Now this is a really beautiful bell-like sound and really nice for playing ballads and perhaps uh, sort of some of the funky tunes that you'd have heard from the 60s and 70s.
So I've now got the keyboard split and I'm playing a different sound in my right hand to my left hand. Now to take that one step further, what I'm gonna do is uh, switch on the metronome. But within the DG30, it's not just a standard TikTok metronome, it actually has drum beats built in as well. So it makes practice a little bit more fun. So I'm gonna select a drum rhythm here, and then I'm gonna play the same thing, but using the split keyboard, so with a bass on the left, electric piano on the right, and the sound of the drum rhythm too. So you can of course change the tempo and the volume of the, of the drum backing. And like I said, there is also a standard metronome as well. So if you just want a traditional TikTok type beat, then that's in there too. So let's just talk about Bluetooth connectivity because that's become the number one way that most people connect their digital piano to another device. Now, I'm very pleased to say that the DG30 has both Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI. So Bluetooth audio, first of all, allows you to stream the sound from your mobile phone or your tablet device through the speaker system of the DG30. So you may want to do that if you want to play along with some music you've got stored on your phone, or perhaps you've downloaded some backing tracks that you want to play along with, and that does make practicing great fun because you're playing along with the sound of real instruments as well. So that's Bluetooth audio. You then have Bluetooth MIDI, which is kind of the communication between the piano and another device for sort of interacting with apps. So earlier in this video, you saw I was using the Kawai Virtual Technician app. That was connected by Bluetooth MIDI. Now, there's another uh, app that Kawai make, which is called the Peer Book Player. And what this is, is there are built into the DG30 are lots of classical uh, pieces of music and also some um, tuition pieces or exercises for you to, to practice just to get your, your technique better. And what Kawai have done is created an app, it's called this Peer Book Player, and it will connect to the piano and then you can play along with the music that's stored in the piano um, and you can even turn the pages of the music using the pedals. So uh, a quick double press on the sostenuto pedal, that's the middle pedal, will turn the page or you can set it so that the soft pedal turns the page as well. So I'd just like to mention the onboard recording features of the DG30. It allows you to record audio directly to a USB stick um, and that means that you can share this with your friends or family because it's recorded in a format that most devices will recognise. Alternatively, you can use the onboard MIDI recorder, but this is a 16 track recorder. So what that means is that you could play a piece of piano and then you could record again but over the top of it maybe add some strings or some bass or some brass sounds and even some drums as well and you can layer up to 16 tracks together so you can build up quite a full composition there once you've done that you can then transfer that to a usb stick as an audio file again to share with all your friends and family so that brings me to the end of my quick DG30 buyer's guide. As you can see, it's a really beautiful instrument, but it's also a very, very good instrument uh, from a playability point of view. So like I said, if you want to come and see one of these and try it for yourself, come down to uh, Bonner's Piano Showrooms. As I've said, we have three uh, in the southeast of the UK. Um, or get in touch, you can buy online from us or over the telephone. And if you have something to part exchange, then uh, please send us some photographs of what you have and we'll get right back to you with a trade-in valuation. So if you've got any other questions about digital pianos, uh, visit our website or get in touch with us via phone or email and we're very happy to talk about digital pianos. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.